I am at Down to Earth in downtown Eugene with Chris. And Chris, you're the buyer here, the plant buyer, and you've selected some perennials that you really love. So what did you choose for us? Well, today, uh, one of my new favorites is this Veronica that just came in called Very Van Gogh. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> what a beauty, right? So you've got this beautiful, nice, tight spike along with all these secondary spikes coming up. So nice repeat bloomer, full sun, you know, 18 to 24 inches. It's a beauty for, you know, hummingbirds and bees and you name it. It's a beauty, yeah. And really for this time of the year, this is gonna go on for the rest of the summer, maybe just a little deadheading? All through the summer, I, I wouldn't be shy to have a, yeah, deadheading is perfect. Keep it going, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And then an echinacea, there's really a lot of new echinaceas yeah. on the market. So many beautiful ones. So this sombrero series, this one is the uh, salsa red. Mm -hmm. What a beauty, like fire engine red. Beautiful, beautiful plant for bees, hummingbirds, you name it. W lots of nice branching. Uh, one of the things I just mentioned with you was that when I plant echinaceas out in the garden, I tend to mix in a nice bit of uh, pumice oh, so that they drain well. Mm -hmm. um, echinaceas, while they like to stay evenly moist, can get a little bit of a problem with winter wet and rot. So pumice kind of helps that. Excellent. Drain. And then one of my favorites, I love it for later in the garden, yeah. um, the Rudbeckia. Yeah. So, you know, this is kind of an old standard, but truly, whether you're a new gardener or you're an old gardener, goodness, this plant just performs like crazy. Full sun, neglect, thrives on neglect. <laughs> we <truly>. like that. <laughs> and one of the nice things with this plant, too, is the winter of fall and winter interest. If you leave those seed heads on, lots and lots of goldfinches, pine siskins, yeah. Ah, great. And you have some other ones in the shade area, so let's go over there. You bet. All right. And now two favorites for the shade garden. Two favorites for the shade garden. One of them is this Aklanoclora grass, the uh, Japanese forest grass. Beautiful grass for the shade, really lovely. A lot of people who kind of want to light up an area in a shade uh, garden, this plant does it. I have three or four in my oh, garden, beautiful. and boy, they really, really highlight spots in the garden that really kind of turn your head to like, wow, what is that? Yeah, that is beautiful. Nice. And then this one's silver, so another oh. one to lighten up the garden. Yeah, you know, you almost can't say enough about this plant because truthfully, it's deer resistant. Oh, There's wonderful. A lot of, you know, here in Eugene, we do have a lot of deer. But um, again, for shade, dappled or filtered, full sun is great as well if it gets some moisture. But boy, it throws out a beautiful little spike of a forget-me-not type of flower. So Very lovely. nice. Yeah. And that foliage. Uh, it is stunning. It's really pretty. Really nice. Yeah. Your building here is just so interesting. It's so historic. So we're going to go inside and talk to Rachel about this wonderful building. Thanks so awesome. much. Awesome. You bet. Well, now I'm inside the store with Rachel. And Rachel, this is a very historic building. So give us a little bit of that. Yeah, uh, our building was actually built in the 1920s, finished in the 40s. And we've got a wonderful backdrop to our business with the original Douglas fir floors. And if you're interested, we also have a walking tour. And I saw there's belts and there's shoots and things like that. So really, you can see what it was like when it was a actual seed place. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And as I was walking around, I noticed it's not just about the plants outside. You have kitchen things, you have home decor, clothing. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, we've got um, kitchen and canning and great gifts, candles, house plants. You know, it's pretty much anything, anything under the sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also for our lifestyle, too. And you really keep it like a community. So really, mm -hmm. it's for everyone to, in Eugene to come on down and visit. We'd love it if you came to visit. <laughs> and then I do notice too that you have this huge amount of different kinds of fertilizers for our plants and those are organic. So the Down to Earth brand is also packaged down here. It is, we make our all of our fertilizers locally. And they're organic also. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a huge line of things. It's not just plants, we all love plants, but it's all things that's for the inside of our homes too. So if you're in the Eugene area, downtown Eugene, you have to stop in, come and see the staff. They're really lovely people too. And if you need any more information, go to Garden Time and we'll click you over to their website. Well, thanks so much for inviting us. Thank you.